get this before the speech. That's good. It's amazing how much younger I sounded in 1989. Amazing. Uh, thank you, Tom. What a special night to be introduced by my friend Tom Meredith at a ceremony emceed by the great Bob Lee from ESPN, who adds class to any event that he's at. And to be sharing the night with this distinguished group, Brad Friedel, Tiffany Milbert, Cindy Parlo Cohn, Don Garber, and Dr. Bob Conagulio. Congratulations to each of you on your well-deserved honor. The night is more special because of the Hunt family and what they have done. They have taken our soccer history, which has been in storage the past several years, placed in empty cardboard boxes, some of those boxes unmarked, and they have helped to turn it into a magnificent National Soccer Hall of Fame that we can all be proud of. So thank you to the Hunt family. Winning the Colin Jose Media Award means a lot to me, especially when I look at the great names who have won it before me. I'm honored to be the first play-by-play -play commentator to win this prestigious award. As a play-by-play -play announcer, I've had the good fortune to call so many big goals and so many big games that will live forever in our soccer history. And I've been able to travel the world thanks to soccer. My two most memorable games, I can remember vividly, and we just saw little glimpses of them there. The 1989 World Cup qualifier in Trinidad when Paul Caligiuri scored the goal that put the U.S. into the World Cup for the first time in 40 years. It started a run of seven consecutive World Cup appearances for our men's team. Then there was that Women's World Cup final when Brandy Chastain's game-winning penalty kick capped off a fantastic World Cup winning celebration at a sold-out Rose Bowl. That Women's World Cup set both attendance records and television ratings records for both women's soccer and all of women's sports. And that rating lasted until this past 2015 Women's World Cup on Fox. Throughout my career, I've been very fortunate, able to call thousands of games from youth soccer to college, indoor soccer, to outdoor soccer, even beach soccer, for men and for women. And I'm reminded about the great indoor days of the major indoor soccer league and Pittsburgh Spirit and St. Louis Steamers when I've seen so many people from my MISL past here in Frisco this weekend. I've been able to call goals from St. Louis, Missouri to St. Petersburg, Russia, from Pittsburgh to Cape Town, South Africa, from Rome to Shanghai, Paris and Munich, to Mexico City and Cuba. I've met and I was able to interview Pelé and I still keep that interview on my cell phone as a treasured memory from the greatest player to ever play. I had the chance to see Nelson Mandela in his final public appearance before he passed away. I ran from a riot in Marseille at the 1998 World Cup, which to this day is the fastest that I have ever run. <laughs> While this plaque has my name on it, it's not just a personal award. I'm sharing it with a large group of people. To those many great and talented producers and directors, to the audio people, the camera operators, the TDs, the PAs, the APs, researchers, stats people, stage managers and runners, this award I'm sharing with you. I share this award with the wardrobe and TV makeup people. I only wish you could make me look 10 years younger. To the numerous gifted analysts I have worked with over the years, some here in this room today, both men and women, thank you for sharing your playing experiences on the field with me. You have made me a better broadcaster. Thank you to the coaches who have trusted in me over these years, and to my friends, the referees. I share this award with my friends and former colleagues at ESPN, where I spent a lot of my career. I share it with my friends colleagues and bosses at Fox Sports who have been and who continue to be a great, great company to work for. For my club team, the Philadelphia Union, I'm proud to be your original voice of the franchise. Finishing up my ninth year, this award I also share with you. To my lovely wife, Donna, I thank you for your patience and support for so many years. It's not easy to be married to someone who's already married to a career. 
To my beautiful daughters, Kristen and Jacqueline, thank you for wanting to be here on this special day for me, son-in-law Mike, and almost 16-month-old grandson John, this night is also shared with you. For my late father, John, who passed away in 2005, my 91-year-old mother, Lillian, who still watches my games on TV, and younger brother, Danny, this award is yours too. And finally, to the millions of soccer supporters who have helped to grow our game, from the American Outlaws to my Union Sons of Ben and all of the great groups in our country. Thank you for making the atmosphere at our games so much better, so much greater than it has ever been. Let's keep it up. This award I'm also sharing with you. Thank you, everyone.